Hello, my name is Martin Chuck and I'm here at the Raven Golf Club Phoenix and I want to talk to you about wrist action today. How both hands work in the golf swing. It's really, really critical that you understand this to play your best golf. You know, when people come to see me, I see a lot of action where the hands work in a dorsiflex and palmar flex action. In other words, when your forearms are pretty much vertical, the hands work in this fashion and that's not the best way, most conducive way to hit your best shots. If we put our hands on the club, our left hand and right hand go on in a way that provides us with the ability to hinge our left wrist, basically caulking it and uncaulking it. And our right wrist, just the way we put our right hand on correctly, it sort of wants to bend back and it hinges a little bit. So let's talk about how the wrists work in the golf swing and how you're going to really improve your striking. So I'm going to hit a little shot for you and let's talk about this and I'll make a slow-mo of this swing. Okay, and there's a pretty solid strike. Now there's a big difference between address and impact. At address, the back of my left wrist has a little bend in it. At impact, the back of my left wrist is flat. So conversely, at address, the back of my right wrist is flat, and at impact, the back of my right wrist is now bent. You can work on your wrist action, this hinging and subtle bending with a lot of short swings, and here's what I recommend you do. First, you're never going to hit solid shots if your weight's back here in your right foot. So let's go ahead and assume a 50-50 address position. In fact, my preference is a little bit of weight left. So 55-45 would be perfect. See when your body is left, you're less likely to try to scoop the ball into the air and you can have a nice flat left wrist and impact and a bent right wrist. So the way I'd like you to start these shots, let's go ahead and get into an address position and go ahead and set the club behind the ball, then simply bend your right wrist back. So I'm in basically an impact position here. You say, well Martin, if you're in an impact position, how do you get to the golf ball? Well, your body's going to travel laterally and then start to rotate, which helps deliver the club to the ball nice and squarely. So you can do some drills from a dress with a bent left wrist, flat right wrist. Go ahead and let the right wrist bend back and hinge, hinge and pump a little bit. So here's a hinge and a pump. And you can hit some crisp shots that way. Let's look at it down the line. Okay, so here we are down the line. And again, at address, our right wrist is going to be generally flat. Maybe just have a little bit of bend in it. And in our back swing, what happens is the right wrist is going to bend back. You can see how the shadows change there from my forearm to my right wrist and how my left wrist begins to flatten. Well, that's basically an impact condition. So what I want you to do is get your weight 55-45. Keep your weight a little bit left. Go ahead and hinge this. And when you've got those ha that hand relationship right there, go ahead and pump and hit a little shot. And this may take you a while before you hit some crisp ones. I just missed that, mishit that one a little bit. So again, address, wait a little bit left, set your hands a little bit, and seek to feel like your body, your pivot can help drive these hands. Your weight's a little bit left, it continues to go a little bit more left as it turns and delivers these great wrist conditions. Now remember, to play your best golf, even though this is a drill, you have to have supple wrists. You can't be tight. You have to be relaxed so this club head can swing. But while you're learning these conditions, I want you to be mindful of this right wrist and flat left wrist. And work on these little drills to help you understand that it's not a game where we try to scoop the golf ball. Our body is delivering this forward shaft lean shallowly into impact with a slightly bent right wrist and a nice flat left wrist. This is Martin Chuck for Revolution Golf. I'm signing off from the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. I want you to post your questions and comments down below and I'll get to as many as I can.